For those of you fearing the freshman 15, fear no more. A new salad bar has made its way to the tea room offering more ways to eat healthy and Jim was actually first in line to try it out. We're here in the tea room with Kelly Kennedy, the new manager of the tea room. Uh, Kelly, only six days on the job, yes. but uh, I know that you've got a lot of exciting things going on here for us in the tea room. We do, we do. We have, um, we've got some new um, hotline and we've got a new salad bar and a new beverage station. Um, different things moved around some stuff so that it's easier for students to come through and get their selections and get out fast. And you are fighting the freshman 15, or you think maybe it's the freshman 20, right? Uh, yes. With some new offerings, <laughs> expanded offerings here with the salad bar. Right. We have um, the new salad station, which is easy for people to get their self-made salads, and then we also have new composed salads, different kinds. Um, we'll be weighing the salads this year instead of a different price point, and then um, the composed salads you can get with meat for $6.99 or without meat for $5.99, and then the self-service would be $5.99 also. So pretty good pricing and good, good selections. The salad bar wasn't the only update to the tea room. We caught up with Terry Benton, who gave us the inside scoop. We're here with Terry Benton, the Associate Director of Dining Services. And Terry, the tea room looks awesome. Tell Thank us a little you. bit about some of the things that our folks will see when they come to the tea room for the first time this year. The tea room has got all kinds of new things to this year. We had to do some uh, remodeling from old equipment and some things just weren't going to make it another year because you know the building was built in 81 and some of the things were original so we got the new salad bar which kelly the new tea room manager told you about we have a new hotline we also have the soup bar and a beverage bar and the composed salads is probably going to be the most popular thing that we have one of the things that's new is the macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's Every not uh, good in fighting the freshman 15. No, now. but they do love it. So we're really excited about having that every day. We'll have a vegetarian soup every day, and then we'll have our regular soup every day. The hotline oh. hasn't changed. It's still the same. So it's just going to be, I think the kids are going to love it. And next year, we're going to do a total remodel. Wow. So the whole place will be gutted from ceiling to floors and we'll start over again next year. You all also get input from the students as to we things, do. particularly with food items, and I know that you've also responded to our international students yes. uh, to help them uh, transition to our food. Yes, we have um, different um, entrees and things that they might choose, they might like better. We have rice every day. Um, they do eat a lot of the bamboo rice. And then, um, but just anything that the students tell us, we listen to them in the RCA meetings and the SGA meetings. We get feedback there. And uh, we also have food committee meetings on Tuesday nights. We haven't set a time yet, but anyone's welcome to come to those. And we get a lot of feedback from that. We also do a survey every year. It's a kind of a benchmarking survey and we get lots of feedback from the students. And we, we listen to everything they have to say. The place looks great. Sounds great, and Thank I know you. it tastes great. Thank so you. thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Are you hungry yet? Be sure to check out the latest changes to one of Murray State's most popular eateries.